On the table, we return with Bendy and the Ink Machine. You mean Landry and the Ink Machine. Landry, I just don't know about you anymore. So we're looking at a couple things today. We're looking at the Series 1 Collectible Figure Pack. These smaller scale but large head figures include Bendy, Alice, Ink Bendy, and Boris. Also today I found what looks to be the remnants of a box full of collector clips. There are nine clips available. I only found about eight bags to look through though, so I'm not sure what we'll find, but we'll find something. So let's start working through these delightfully creepy toys. We will start off with Bendy and the Ink Machine collectible figure pack for figures of this Series 1 pack. This might be your best value pack of any Bendy and the Ink Machine collectibles, as you get four characters for approximately $20. I found this pack over at Walmart. I spit on Walmart. And they seem to have an abundant supply of this size pack. The action figures seem to be moving a little faster. On the back of the box, not much going on at all, really, except for an image of the ink machine and a highlight for a free game download, bendy.io slash free. Although it looks like there is an individual box number right there for those collector freaks. Anyhow, let's get these out of the package and look a little closer. And outside of the package, there would be mischievous classic Bendy with a wrench, Alice with a spot on her hand, Ink Bendy, and everyone's favorite, Boris. I think so far I'm really liking Boris out of all the characters available, so classically weird. So these small sized figures are approximately two and a half inches tall, Boris looks about three with those ears. We have the oversized head sculpt style going on, which isn't really my favorite. I don't even want to try spinning Alice around. You can kind of see her head tilting a little bit left and or, well, that's her right, which makes her a little bit hard to balance. She will come crashing down, but the others are standing pretty well, surprisingly, especially looking at the tiny size of Boris's feet over there. He's doing quite well. As for the rest of the sculpt, paint, and design, they look really good, resembling something close from the characters we've seen in-game. There's no articulation on these figures. They're just standalone, but I think they stand alone pretty well. And if you're careful in opening up your box, you can easily replace into package for display. And there we go, and that might just be the first reboxing I've ever done. Pretty neat though, I like boxes like this. All right, let's move on to those clips. If you dare. <laughs> okay then, Ink Landry. And here we have a shelf box of the Series 1 Collector Clips. I normally don't pick up shelf boxes, but since this one was practically almost empty, I thought, hey, what the heck, and Walmart didn't seem to mind taking it off their shelves. Oh yeah, I spit on them too. We've got the classic front that opens and closes, characters available on the sides, and a few clips to open. I'm a little worried about what's inside these packs though, it could very well be the same character eight times. When smushing the bags, it feels like everything is about the same size. The clips are contained in a little plastic shell to prevent character smushing. I should add characters available in this collection. We have a Bendy. We have a Bendy with a little more ink on with overalls. We have an Alice, another classic Bendy Boris, another Alice with microphone. A poor Boris on table, and then an ink bendy, and then it looks like a gold bendy. So plenty of characters to look for and find. So let's just go ahead and start with this one and see what's inside. Looks like we found a character wearing a bendy mask. So this could possibly be Sammy Lawrence, the music director from Chapter 2. There is a small confrontation with this character. Nothing to worry about. So it looks like with these clips we have the opportunity to dive a little deeper into the story. Well, let's try another one and see how many more Sammies we can find. Hard to get these guys to stand. Looks like we found a classic Bendy though from the classic Bendy cartoons of Joey Drew Studios. This mischievous devil looking like creature 
With a bright smile on its face, this one could be one of the more desired clips of the collection, as we all want to see that lovable Bendy. How are the clips holding out, by the way? Looks like each clip has Bendy and the Ink Machine on it, labeled on each side, and these clips open up like so. Not the biggest fan of how these clips work sometimes. I always worry about them breaking if you're going to place on, on a bag and really pound it. But there we go with Bendy. Not a bad second pull. Okay, let's see how many more Bendys and Sammys we can find now. Oh, poor Boris. Boris strapped down to a table, not doing so well, if well at all. <laughs> In the first chapter of the game, we encounter poor Boris here strapped down to a table. Things are a little more graphic though, with the dripping of the ink and the lighting. Things are definitely not looking good for Boris today. I'm surprised to see this figure included with this collection. And I'm also surprised at the size. I thought maybe this figure was not in the packs that I found. You would be able to feel the rectangular shape and package, but no. Looks like all of these are about the same approximate size. There's the back, just kind of a wooden table. Oh, poor Boris. All right. I'm surprised I've been able to pull three individual unique characters so far. Let's see if we can continue the streak. And we have encountered Alice. With a spot on her hand holding a microphone, looks to be the classic cartoon version of Alice Angel. Standing. A little bit tippy. You can get her to stand, but the clip will make her fall down if I let go. So I guess if you remove the clip, you could could use these as uh, standable figures, too. Oversized heads again, too, on all of these, by the way. Very cool. I can't believe I've been able to pull four now in a row. Four characters down, four more to go. Hopefully we have at least one character in these four packs that we haven't seen. Oh, our first repeat, Alice with a mic. Looks like we found a regular version of Boris. Awesome. He's looking much more healthy this time. His eyes, everything about him seem to be okay. Good to find. I like Boris. I think I might even clip this to my bag. If I have a bag, I'll have to make a bag. Put him on my camera bag or something. That would be cool. I like Boris. Boris here, standing, happy, it's Boris. Boris, everybody, Boris. Stop saying Boris, jeez. Okay, I think we have two more to go now. What do we got? Looks like we have another Sammy Lawrence in disguise with Bendy. And the final bag. Aha. We have a different version of Alice. This would probably be the evil version, I'm thinking, with her eye looking a little more open and scary. Spot on the hand. I don't think you're gonna even get this one to stand. But here she is with the first Alice we opened. Looking a little more devious, but still not like completely deformed or anything. They're almost too similar. So that surprisingly worked out pretty well in my favor, pulling six unique characters out of eight bags that I found. Again, I was really worried about pulling all the same character, figuring someone had already maybe smooshed out them, but I think that was a pretty good find. And I was able to get a shelf box out of it. Obviously the best one I think out of these is probably the regular classic Bendy and our regular classic Boris. I feel too bad for this Boris, but I could see that one being highly sought after. And then we've got a couple Alice's. One with microphone, the other just kind of giving that weird one-eye stare. And then we've got a disguised Bendy. So these were all really fun to go through. Looks like the characters I was unable to find. There's a classic Bendy with an umbrella, ink Bendy of course, and then a gold Bendy which is probably short packed and harder to find. I'll take what I can find though, it's always extremely hard finding anything that doesn't repeat in blind packs like this. 
And there's everything we saw today. Again, I think the best value would be the Bendy and the Ink Machine collectible figure pack back there. For about $20, you get four known characters. You don't have to worry about repeats. And I think that pack hasn't flown off shelves as fast as the action figures. And of course, if you want to be surprised, pick up a collector's clip. Load me up a few clips, will ya? Alright. You good? Yeah. See you later. Bendy and the Ink Machine collectible figure pack and collector clips arrive on store shelves. Spring 2018. The collectible figure pack runs about 20. The collector clips run about 5. Each giving you a great chance at scary, creepy gameplay fun. If you're looking for characters like Bendy, Boris, and Alice, these packs will give you a pretty good opportunity. However, if you're looking to dive deeper into Bendy lore, you might have to wait till Series 2 or 3. That's what I have to say about that. Nice toys, and no ink spilled on set today. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please, like, share, subscribe. Get back here, squirrel!